Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? We are going to look at something on MGIS um, today using um, QGIS as software or let's say the tool. We are going to show you how you can um, carry out um, triangulated irregular network interpolation, right? Good. Now, um, the thin interpolation this is actually a documentary from um, from QGIS um, official website, right? Link to this particular uh, to this part actually can be gotten from the help button we are going to show to you, or we might just um, leave a link to this to this post on the description section. So they say them um, it generates a thin network, sorry, a thin interpolation of a point vector layer. Now, on today's video, we are going to use what a line vector layer, right? Good because as you can see already on QGIS or from QGIS, we have what vector, um, we have um, lines, right? Lines that were actually um, that actually represent here, yeah, that actually represent contours, and these contours were what they were developed or they were generated from what a digital elevation model, right? Good. So if you have a set of points like um, points that have x, y, z, because we are going to interpolate the z values, so you can as well use it. And if you have um, lines which is actually this that also has what z values, you can as well what use it. Right? Good. By the time you read through it, you will see what some of the other parameters mean, what some of the parameters mean, and how you can what how you can fill them up. So thanks for coming to class. If you're coming to the channel for the first time, you can encourage us by subscribing. And if you are returning viewer, thanks for always checking up on us. So another very important thing is that um, you should ensure that your data is actually in what in a um, projected um, coordinate reference system. It's um, it's easier, or let's say, it's better to work with what the projected um, coordinate reference system. As you can see, we are using what the UTM zone 33, right? Good. So you can actually export if you have it in geography. Can just what exports to what to what to the projected coordinate reference system by indicating or by selecting the projected coordinate reference system under your what under your CRS right good now let's go back to the processing toolbox our processing toolbox is actually merged with our layer so if you can't find you can come to processing and you will see what your toolbox here right good. so let's go back to the processing toolbox then what we need is actually what interpolation let's just close it so we need interpolation and then what we actually need is what thin interpolation so if you know what you're looking for you can just come to search and then you type what you're looking for right so we have what thin interpolation and then you can see it under what under interpolation right so you just what double click on it good so we have what the thin interpolation window out and then you can see the parameters and the log, right? Good. As you've actually seen, yeah, as you saw on the documentation, right? With the parameters and some other stuff. So when you read through, you know what some of them or what all of them represent, right? Good. So we have our input layer. Our input layer is actually what that um, that vector, the vector data we have, which is actually what a line, yeah, a line data that um, it's actually a contour data, yeah, represented by lines, right? Good. So if you have this point that also has or that also have elevation data, you can use them, right? Good. So we have what our input um, layer as the vector layer, which is what the contour data. Then the interpolation attribute is what the elevation, because that's what we are what we are trying to interpolate, right? Good. Then we add it. Good. Then under the type, you select the um, structure line, right? Good. So with this, um, we have the extent. That's the next thing we are going to indicate. Now the extent is where it covers. So we are actually calculating from a layer. If you have a particular layer um, of whose extent you want to use, or you can use what the map um, canvas extent, or you can draw on the canvas, right? Good. So since we already have a layer, we just want to select what that layer. And then the extent will be what will be indicated. Now we have what the the pixel, which is what um, the spatial resolution or something. So let's make this um, should I say 100 by 100, depending on the resolution you need. 
you can decide to make it 500 by 500, 100 by 100, depending on the resolution and maybe the area you're trying to cover, right? Good. So let's just use them. Is it okay, let's use 500 for this particular video. Then we don't want to save it yet. Maybe you can decide to click on this to save what um, the output wherever you want it to be, right? Good. So we just click on run. So this is the progress, right? Good. So what the the interpolation has finished, we can just um, close this, and then we can see what the interpolation here, right? Good. So this is actually what the interpolation. Let's um, see the properties. Okay. So you can see the width, the height. Now these are actually very very low. The size is actually very small. But as we said earlier, depending on the specification you need, you can actually increase the Special resolution, or you decrease it, and then it also then it depends. So let's say determines here. It actually determines what the output you have. So maybe when you want to fix yours, you also pay attention to what the spatial resolution. So this is how you carry out what um, thin interpolation using what a vector data, and then we are using what um, a line yeah a line data. Let's say line type vector, right? Good. We use them um, the contour data we got from what we use the um, the, yeah, the contour data we got from um, the dem and then we've actually created what um a surface right good we actually created a surface from that particular data so you can still try to change the symbology for um, a better visual um, representation right so let's see how that goes Let's see, equal intervals, and then let's make this 10 and see just for good. So we can actually see the range of values we have, right? Good. So the, the range of elevation we have, right? Good. So this is how you carry out what um, thin interpolation using what using QGIS. So don't forget to check out what the the documentation and then you will get uh, more information about the whole process so yeah thanks for coming to class we hope we've provided solution to this particular surveying or let's say chairs related problem let's say by extension remote sensing so we hope to see you on our next video until then keep staying safe don't forget to support the channel and have a very good time bye